In this guide, I'm going to show you how you can install the T7 patch for Black Ops 3 on Steam Deck or Steam OS devices. This will help you get much better performance, better lobbies, and also fix the choppy menus. Before we dive into this, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. It really does help out the channel and lets us know that you want more content like this. We greatly appreciate it, and if at any point throughout this guide you do have any questions, just ask them down in the comment section below, and we can help you out forever. I'm going to be doing my best to reply to every single comment down there. But the first thing you're going to want to do to install this patch is actually go into desktop mode. To do that, go into the SteamOS side menu like this, and go into power, and then switch to desktop like so. Now I am using a mouse and keyboard for this, but you can also do this with the Steam Deck or SteamOS controls you have set up. As you can see, I'm using a raw Gali X. It'll obviously work on a Steam Deck as well. This is running SteamOS. But I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so y'all can see a little better too. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into your web browser that you're going to use for this. For me, I'm going to use Google Chrome and just click on it like so. And type in T7 patch for Black Ops 3 like so. And you'll see this GitHub page at the top. Go ahead and click on this. And it'll load into this menu right here. It'll come with its own directions and I would honestly follow this as well as watching this video for better instructions. But from here, you're going to want to hit the 2.04 release tab over here. Scroll down a little bit and you're going to see the T7 patch for Linux, Steam Deck, and manual Windows install right here. Click on this to download it and save into your downloads folder. Next, you're going to want to go into Steam itself and go into your library tab over here. And you're going to see Black Ops 3 right here if you've loaded into it recently. Just go ahead and click on that. Go into the settings wheel over here and then click on properties. From here, you're going to want to go into installed files and then click the browse button right here to load into the game's install files. From here, you're going to want to go into your Dolphin file system right here and right click on it to create a new window. Press this open new window button to do that and then you'll have a second window that you can drag the mod into. Go into your downloads folder and you're going to see that Linux and Steam Deck manual install right here. Go ahead and right click on this and then click on extract and then extract here and delete archive. You could also just hit extract here if you want, but I like to keep my stuff clean so it looks better this way. You'll see the Linux folder right here. Go ahead and click into this. But from here, you're going to want to go and drag all of these files into the root folder of the game that we just loaded into. As you can see, I already have all those files right here, so I'm all good. And overwrite any files if it tells you to as well. But once you do this, what I would do is go into this T7 patch config folder and go ahead and double click on this. But here you can change your player name as well as a password that you can set for your server. I would go ahead and set these and you can have your friends join your lobbies much easier this way as long as they have the same password as you. But once you have those settings set up, just go ahead and hit file and save in order to keep that locked in. From here, you can go ahead and close out all of these tabs just to clean up your desktop a little bit. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and return to gaming mode as well. And once you're back in gaming mode, you can go ahead and click on Black Ops 3 and hit play. And this is so you can see if the patch has worked. To confirm this, just wait for the game to load. And as you can see in the top right, it says patch by Sirius in the top right, which means that the patch has worked and that you are done with this. And that is it. You will now have much smoother menus and FPS throughout your games, smoother lobbies, and better mod support as well. If this helps you get the T7 patch installed correctly on your Steam Deck or other SteamOS devices, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. It really does help the channel and lets us know that you want more content like this. We greatly appreciate it. And if at any point throughout this guide you do have any questions, just ask them down in the comment section below and we can help you out further. I'm going to be doing my best to reply to every single comment down there. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.